Imagine this. You wake up, check the weather, and walk out, not to your car, but to your flying coop. No propellers. No runway. Just vertical lift, a quiet hum, and the sky, yours. This isn't a sci-fi movie. This is the 2025 Leo Coupe, a sleek, all-electric, three-seat personal aircraft designed to take off like a helicopter and cruise like a jet. It started in the spring of 2020, during the global lockdown. Two dreamers, Pete Baito, a jet propulsion pioneer, and Carlos Salaf, an award-winning supercar designer, teamed up with a vision to make flight as personal and simple as driving. Together, they launched Leo Flight, and just four years later, their dream is airborne. Forget what you know about flying cars. The Leo Coupe isn't a drone, or a helicopter, or a plane. It looks more like a luxury EV, but with wings. And inside? A minimalist, panoramic cockpit with gullwing doors, a floating pilot seat, and windows so wide, including a transparent floor, you'll feel like you're flying in a sci-fi bubble. But the real magic is hidden in the wings. 64 ducted lift fans for vertical takeoff. 6 ducted forward jets for flight. All powered 100% by electricity. All whisper quiet. All ultra safe. No exposed propellers. No compromises. With a top speed of 250 miles per hour, a range of 300 miles, and a flight time of over one hour, the Leo Coupe isn't just fast, it's practical. It fits in a two-car garage and lands softly thanks to airbag-style variable landing pads that adapt to uneven ground. It's not just a toy. It's a tool, ready for air taxis, emergency response, tourism, even exploration. And yes, there's a ballistic parachute with retro rockets, just in case. In just four months, Leo Flight built and tested three prototypes. Their drone, Arcspear, hit 100 miles per hour. Their latest man prototype, the LX-1, is already undergoing flight tests with clustered electric jets. And through it all, their work's been backed by DARPA, and even earned honors from NASA's HeroX initiative. So, is the flying car finally here? Not quite mainstream, yet. But with Leo Coupe, the future isn't just coming, it's lifting off. The sky is no longer the limit. The Leo Coupe just made sure of that. Would you ride one? Or better yet, own one? Let us know in the comments.